All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about stand setup. You know, there's a lot of information out there about stand location, meaning if you're setting up upwind or downwind or crosswind, sun at your back, how you're set up, you set up in close cover, tight cover, open cover. Um, there's a lot of information out there on those topics. I have, really haven't seen a lot on stand setup, and I really want to talk about that. I think that's um, just as important, if not more important, than stand location. So once you're sitting on stand, which way do you face? How do you set up to better optimize your chances of putting that coyote on the ground once they come in? So how I do it, first thing first, I'll sit down, make sure that I'm that any debris and sticks, anything that's going to make noise is clear and out of the way if I should have to shift movement. To include branches behind you that could snag up on your uh, jacket when you're moving and, and stop you from, from fully rotating and get that shot on that coyote. Uh, second thing I want to do is make sure that my equipment, my guns, are fully operational and, and uh, good to go. Meaning I'll actually uh, turn on my sight if I do I have an electronic sight, turn it on, pretend, make sure that I'm uh, I have a clear sight picture, there's nothing impeding the lens, uh, it's not fogged up, there's a round in the chamber, safety's on, that shotgun goes right on my lap. The rifle I'm going to set downwind, pointing in the downwind direction, and I'm going to do the same thing with it. I'm going to make sure that the bipod is at a good elevation where I can make the shot if he's uh, the coyote's on the right, if he's in the middle, or if he's to the left. Every elevation I'm covered and I'm not having to squat down low or raise up high because that bipod's too high. You have a comfortable shot, you're going to make way more of those, uh, those shots on coyotes. Um, and again, it goes downwind. I put it in a downwind direction. Should a coyote come downwind, they're going to be uh, 150 plus yards out if they're in that, um, you know, circling downwind to get your, to catch your scent. So I put it in the downwind location so that I minimize my movement. All I have to do is pick that rifle up, wait for it to get in my sight picture, pull the trigger, and the job is done. Um, then the next thing is is why I put the shotgun on my lap. I've seen it done uh, many times where they just put it on their side or they put it in front of them. I put it in my lap and I even keep my uh, my right hand, my trigger hand, on the shotgun. I'll operate the remote or I'll operate my hand calls with my left hand. Um, so that should a coyote surprise me, they come in from behind, they come in from a hole I never even saw that was there. I'm ready. I can pick that, that shotgun up and it's on them in a matter of uh, half seconds. So instead of having to reach over, grab the shotgun, pick it up, now they went from being 20 yards away, now they're 40, 50 yards away, and you making that shot, the chances of you making that shot have drastically reduced. So <clears throat> that's where the shotgun goes. Now set up as far as what direction do I face? Okay, well, I'm calling this giant uh, field this way. Well, do you have an electronic call? If, the call? if you're putting an electronic call out there, I make sure that that call is no more than um, lined up with my right foot. So if I were to draw a line straight out from my right foot, I don't put it any further to the right than that. Making sure that should a coyote come in and surprise me, they're going to that call. So if they all of a sudden show up on that call, your shot is not going to be further to the right and you're shooting across your body than right here and this is the most comfortable you're going to get um, and it just makes it a whole lot more comfortable you're going to make a, you're going to have a lot more success shooting them I've, I've done it before i've made the mistake before i've missed the coyotes before that come in and they're coming in right on my right side and aside from me doing a one-hander which really doesn't work out too often um, those shots just don't happen they don't they don't, they don't work so Make sure that, that that electronic call and you're set up to where you, you're facing it enough that you have a comfortable shooting lane and shooting stance towards it. And that gives you plenty of um, rotation. You can rotate clear in front of you and then nearly all the way behind you, given that. So you have a, a 270 degree or 180 degree, whatever it is, uh, shooting lane to, uh, to, to target those coyotes. Well, hopefully these tricks help you out and you can put a few more down in your next trip out calling the country. Until next time, I think uh, the time is right. I'm going to try and put a few down here.